welcome back everyone so you might have a common problem of the slow performance and a bit of lag and if you do the gaming then you also might be having the low fps and the input delay problem and this all can be because of the high process the thread and the handle count of the cpu so if you bring up the task manager click on the performance tab and then click on the cpu on the right hand corner you will find the utilization the process count the thread count and the handle count and the higher this count will be the more will be the cpu utilization and the poor performance you will be getting from your computer so it's always recommended that you should always optimize your windows to reduce the process the thread and the handle count so that there should be the low utilization of the cpu to get the better performance so in this video i will be showing you some best optimization some best method that will be reducing the process the thread and the handle count so without any delay let's quickly get started and before starting guys make sure that if this video help you out then please hit the like subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your pc and laptop problem all right now before proceeding we will be creating a restore point so that in case if the setting doesn't work for you then you can quickly revert it back very simple you will have to click on your window search type restore click on create a restore point now here at the bottom you will have to click on create in case if this option is not being highlighted then you will have to click on configure and turn on the system protection click apply click ok and the create option will now be highlighted so click on create and give any restore point name that you can identify that why exactly you created it like i will give a name reducing resources so that i can identify that why exactly i created then finally you will have to click on create and it will take few seconds to create a restore point once created you will have to click on close click on ok next click on your window search type registry click on registry editor from the suggestion click on yes and the registry editor box will be up now here from the left hand menu option you will have to click on hk local machine just make a double click then you have to look for system double click on it then you have to look for current control set double click on it then click on control and once you click on control on the right hand side you will find some kind of keys and here you have to look for the one by the name svc host split threshold in kb so you have to look for this key once you get it just make a double click on it and here we have to change this value data that depend that what kind of ram you have on your computer so depending on your ram i'm sharing a list that you can see on the right hand side so depending you are using the 4 gigabyte 6 8 12 24 32 whatever you are using just look over the number and you have to type exactly the same number in the value data on my computer i have physical memory that is ram of 4 gigabyte so for 4 gigabyte i will enter 40000 that is 400000 then i have to click on ok so once you are done now you will have to close it now next you also need to disable the startup application now what happened when you enable a lot of application during the startup and whenever you start the computer these all application run in the background and display in your system tray so once this program will be running in the background there will be more utilization of the resources so again you can right click on the windows icon click on task manager on windows 11 from the left hand menu option you can click on startup apps and here you have to disable all these kind of third party application like microsoft edge onedrive discord skype that you can manually open whenever you need you just disable it from here very simple right click on it and choose disable do it for all these kind of third party application once you are done now you can close it next right click on the windows icon then you have to click on settings from the left hand menu option you will have to click on privacy and security and here in the windows permission you will have to go ahead and disable all these unwanted permissions and suggestions that is sent to the microsoft so click on general disable all these permission then you have to go back click on speech disable it inking typing personalization you can disable it diagnostic and feedback you will have to disable it improve inking and typing here also make sure it's been disabled everything then you can go back 
then come down to the app permission and here depending which application you are not using you will have to go ahead and disable them on the top if you don't use the location camera or mic then you can go ahead and disable them below there are many kind of application that i guess majority of the people they are not using it like contacts i believe most of the people they don't use on their computer then we have the phone call call history email task messaging radios they occupy a lot of resources and you really don't need it so go ahead and disable them all right so once you are done close it next click on your windows search type sys dm dot cpl again hit the enter key now here from the top menu option you will have to click on advanced in the performance you will have to click on settings now here it will be by default selected to let windows choose what best for my computer that basically enable all kind of animation and graphics that is used on windows 11 so now here if you're really concerned about the performance and you're not too much concerned about the animation and effect then choose the third option that says adjust for best performance and here you have to enable two options show thumbnail instead of icon and a smooth edges of a screen font rest we will be disabling all this unwanted animation because it will be improving the performance then you will have to click on apply click on ok and now next you have to bring up any of your favorite browser then you will have to come to this microsoft website the link will be in the description and here scroll down a bit you will find download auto runs and auto run sc so click on it and it's a small file so it will be quickly downloaded so open the downloaded folder all right click on it then click on extract all click on extract and here you have to look for auto run 64 just make a right click on it click run as admin click on yes click on agree and the auto run box will be up now here you have to look for the logon tab click on it now here you have to uncheck all those application all those programs that you don't want that it should come along with the computer the microsoft edge launch i don't need it so i will uncheck it onedrive uncheck it google chrome microsoft edge if you don't want that it should come along with the computer go ahead and uncheck them once you are done click on the schedule task tab and here also look for the task that you don't need that it should come along with the computer so google update i don't want so i will uncheck it google update task machine i don't need it then we have microsoft edge update i really don't need it edge update onedrive onedrive i will uncheck whatever i don't need okay so on your end it can be less or more so look over all the tasks scheduled here whichever you don't need then you can go ahead and uncheck it then you will have to click on the services and here whichever services you don't need just go ahead and uncheck them then finally you will have to click on file click on save and you can save this file to any of your location once done now you can close it okay now we are only remaining with the final step where we have to disable many unwanted services so click on your window search type services click on services from the suggestion now here in the services you will find many kind of services and many of these services are unwanted and running in the background and occupying a lot of resources now i have already created a video on this topic you can check that video for a detailed information that what all exactly you have to disable but i will still share a few of them like you can come to the b section and look for the bitlocker drive encryption if you are not using the bitlocker then make a right click on it a startup type choose it to disable stop the service click on apply click on ok same you have to do with the bluetooth if you are not using the bluetooth then disable all these three bluetooth services then you have connected user experience and telemetry double click on it just disable the service click on stop click on apply click on ok again scroll down diagnostic system host double click on it disable it click on stop click on apply click on ok downloaded maps manager double click on it disable it apply ok parental control if you are not using any kind of parental control on your pc or laptop then again you can go ahead and disable this so overall whatever you are not using you have to go ahead and disable them phone service if you are not using the phone service you can go ahead and disable them print is cooler if you are not using any kind of printer on this device then you can go ahead and disable the printer and the fax service then you have to look for the sysmain again look for it disable it click on stop click on apply click on ok 
and then there are many more services like wallet service and many other so look for the video that i created so that you can disable all these unwanted services now once you are all done now finally you will have to go ahead and restart the computer all right so the computer has been restarted now now one thing that you have to keep in mind that in case if you get any kind of a blue screen while uh, starting the computer then you don't have to get panic simply shut down the computer again and then restart again and then it will be booting up normally all right so once we have booted now now this time if i bring up the task manager and go to the performance tab so now you can you see the difference the process is around 76 the threads is around 1200 1300 now i believe this is the huge difference more than half of the count are being decreased and now you can see the utilization that was around 45 40 percent now it has been reduced to 8 and 10 percent so now as these resources are being reduced now you will be having the higher performance you will be not having any kind of lag and you will be also enjoying the more fps without any kind of delay so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye